Okay, so you shot an event like a wedding or anything with multiple cameras and you made the mistake of not syncing the time, the clocks on the camera before you started, which is not something you should always do, uh, but this time I forgot. So we have three cameras here. We have a 5D Mark III, 5D Mark IV, and then my second shooter used a Canon EOS 60. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a moment that both cameras would have shot or all three cameras would have shot. So, you know, like the first look would be a good moment. And so you will just click on this. This looks like it was shot with the 60 with from my assistant. Um, and we're gonna make note of the time which was 1.55.36. And then we're gonna go back into grid view. You wanna click grid view, which is right here. And we're gonna find, if I shot it on the 5D Mark IV. And right here, here's the tap. So let's click on it. And this looks like it happened at 149.25. Which means about a six minute difference. So, what we need to do is we need to take all the 60 files and make them six minutes slower, six minutes, you know, down six minutes. So, what we want to do, we're going to click 60. Again, we're back in grid view. Click on 60 up here. And we're going to grab all these files. And then we're going to go into metadata, edit capture time. And we'll click here, corrected time to be 103. Remember, because we're taking it down six. And then we're gonna click change all. And it will adjust. Since my 5D3 and my 5D4 were already synced up, this should do the trick. And when we go back to all cameras, and we spread it out, now everything should be time synced correctly. And you can kind of see all the shots, you know, these are all the 60 shots kind of highlighted and it looks like everything's kind of synced up correctly. So that's all you have to do. Thanks for watching, guys.